Welcome to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show. We've got a different guest for you every week. Somebody very important in the community, at least we think so. And we've got a series of shows with Jeff and Bob Shore going for you this year. We're calling it the Shore Family Football Legacy because for almost 50 years, the Shore boys here have been running football uh, the Camdenton Lakers. So, uh, guys, thank you for coming by, for joining us, and for sharing your stories and your memories with us. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So in the first show, this is show number two in this series. In the first show, we talked about, Bob, how you came to Camdenton, you got the program started. You went to the state championship game in your second season. Third. Uh, your third season, 1977. Right. Okay, and you lost that game. But it, it started what was to become a championship program. So you guys were talking in that first program about those guys on that team, along with their coach, uh, they really set the tone for years to come, didn't they? Mm -hmm. They sure did. Yeah. And, and so those players that were on that team, I'm guessing they were friends, they were uh, comrades for many years after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Almost oh, definitely. I mean, Chuck Blair is one of your... Yeah, uh, what I would say, you know, is it's kind of like this Hall of Fame deal that it's probably what is special about it is, I mean, state championships and, and district championships and quarterfinals, they're all special, yeah. special teams that you remember. But really, as the guy said, uh, wrote somewhere, you know, it's not the trophies and the plaques, it's a, it's a journey. Yeah. And the relationships made on that journey that stay in your mind as vivid as if they happened yesterday. Yeah. And that's what those guys have, and I see it every time I'm around them. Absolutely. A connection, Absolutely. a relationship that's lasted forever. And you think about it, I'm guessing for all coaches, it's almost like it happened yesterday mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. When you think back to that 77 championship game and you lost it, uh, what do you think about? What do you remember from that? Do you remember the pain of losing or what, what sticks out from that? Well, you know, you take a lot of negatives and turn them into positives if you're going to be a coach. That's what you have to do. I was so proud of that football team to be playing for a state championship because I knew what we were up against. Mm -hmm. And that first game, of course, we weren't, I mean, the crowd was surrounding the field. Yeah. You know, it was, it was something that was, you know, not quite what, we were necessarily prepared for. We were football-wise, we prepared, and, and we won that ball game and drove the ball about 75 yards in the last two minutes to score and win 14 to 10. To get to the state championship. Uh, to get to the state championship. To, well, to get yeah, to the semifinals. semifinals. Oh, yeah. to the semifinals. Yeah, that was okay. the quarterfinals. Semis, we beat St. Joe Lafayette three to nothing. Oh, man, defensive game. Yeah, now I knew we, Rockbridge was good. They had the little Lewis, Mark Lewis boy that went on and played. Leo Lewis, his, played, his brother, played some professional football stuff. They had the big kid that was going to, uh, to MU. Uh, you know, and, you know, it was Rockbridge, Columbia, and we had to play there, so we played in MU Stadium, uh, which usually at that time you just played in the home stadium. you got to remember uh, Al Onofrio was the head coach at University of Missouri then, and his son was playing on that Columbia Rock Bridge team as ah. the tackle, and the wrestling coach's son was playing, and Dan Devine Jr. was one on the coaching staff. Really? And we're playing at Columbia, and I knew this was going to be a tough day. <laughs> yeah, this was like a home game <laughs> yeah, for them, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And it was about eight degrees out. Oh. So it was really cold, and we played well, and we played hard. Proud of the football team. We came up short, but it didn't. It didn't just absolutely crush anybody because we had the kind of players, the kind of kids, we'll line up and kick it off and play them again. It was seven to six ball game. Ooh, wow. It was not. You we, lost that one seven to six. And we got a touchdown call back. And we, yeah. Oh. And see, so basically what we're saying is, and I know you hear this at once, we run out of time. Yeah. We didn't lose that ball game. We just run out of time. and. Had I done a little better job coaching and we'd gotten this or that, it, you know how games are, any mistake here, but I can tell you about every play of the ball game in the semifinals too. Wow. And Isn't that amazing? We were going. Yeah, that's fa Good coaches are that way, though. <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of like golfers. They'll tell you every shot they yeah. took oh, yeah. out. Well, we scored on, on Jack Freeman scored on a 42 power, about six yard run on the left side. We were on the visitor side, which would be the West End for our touchdown. Yeah. And we got the extra point blocked. Oh! And uh, they scored a, a touchdown on about a 55-yard run out of a wishbone with Mark Lewis at quarterback, and we didn't get our assignment on the quarterback, and he scored. And then we were down on the eight-yard line whenever we 
get that other touchdown and set up, and we've got an illegal uh, set. Oh. We've got our receiver, got our tight end covered. Yeah. yeah. Our flanker covered our tight end, oh. and, uh, I, and we did. I, and I knew it at the time, but we couldn't get it corrected. So, so uh, you know, that's, that's, that's right. We'd play them again, I guarantee you. They'd play anybody again. <laughs> yeah. We played that year. We, we were had a big ball game that year against the Lions team on a Saturday night before yeah. the – that regular season and, and up there in front of a big crowd. And, and uh, so it's all good, yeah. you know, and it's a, a great memories and a great bunch of our kids that set the mentality and the attitude that says, hey, you know, we're not, we don't have to take a back seat to anybody. Yeah. Uh, we don't care how many students you got or whatever. And even losing that game, the, the program won because okay. they gained credit. They, and in their minds, it's like, we should have won that game. Right. I think that's a really good way to put it. Yeah. I, think you, I think you're just exactly right. And it's the same way in life. I mean, you guys as football coaches are teaching the kids about life, you know, and mm -hmm. sometimes a loss is a win, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes a win is a loss. So we're talking with Jeff, Bob Shore. Uh, it is the Shore family football legacy because they have led the Camdenton football program together for 50 years, which is hard to believe. So we'll have more with the Shores right after this. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. Your year-round safe and affordable vacation destination is Central Missouri's Lake of the Ozarks. Voted the best recreational lake in the nation by readers of USA Today and 10 Best. There's a wide variety of places to stay, from resorts and hotels to condos and campsites. With over 50 marinas nearby, happy to rent you boats and PWCs. Off the water, enjoy scenic hiking or take a swing at 13 awe-inspiring golf courses. Find your fun shine at funlake.com. Produced in cooperation with Missouri Division of Tourism. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. Welcome back to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show presented by the great folks at COMC, Central Ozarks Medical Center. Oh, this is show two in our series with Jeff and Bob Shore, the Shore family football legacy. It's been almost 50 years since these guys uh, took over the football program at Camdenton. So we were talking a minute ago about you getting to your first state championship in 77, losing by one point. Jeff's just a little kid. You're like five, six, seven years old, right. but you caught the bug. You watch dad, you're winning these games, you're going to state championships. You want in, right? Oh, yeah. 100%. So, uh, but before that, you were also a player. So, uh, now when you were watching Jeff in these days, like in 77, just a kid, did you know he was going to be able to be a player? Oh, yeah. I, I don't think there's any question about that. The question is how good. I knew he liked it. Yeah. Because he'd play all day long, and, and, the, and the kids he played with would play all day long. And I know some of the parents, and I, I name all those kids, but, you know, uh, Travis, Travis Ezra, Sean Machino, and all those guys were over the house all the time and, and playing football, basketball, baseball, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so – Someone said one time, well, you've done a good job coaching them when they're young. I didn't coach them when they were young. I just got them together. They were just out there playing. Yeah, they right, didn't. Yeah. I, he'll tell you, I wasn't out there coaching them. I'd, I'd just run them off. <laughs> go go out there and play, and they go out there and play. Yeah. You know, kids will make up their – they're creative. They'll yeah. make up the game on What do you themselves. mean you're bored? I'll find something for yeah. you to do, right? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So they go play. So you know they're going to play. How good? Then. Yeah. But this guy turned That's out to be good. Yes, he did. Right. Okay, so when did you start playing for your dad? Well, you know, he coached me in about everything I did, Little League Baseball and, you yeah. know, basketball, and, and I, I played everything you could play. And uh, I was pretty fortunate to have a really good bunch of guys I grew up with. Uh, he named a couple of them there, and, you know, I can just go down the list of guys. And 
So, you know, most of our playing football was done in the back of the end zone. Um, we really learned all our football there. Yeah. And, you know, back then you didn't have a, uh, you didn't have Mighty Might football. So I, I never got to play a real football game until seventh grade. So we were really hungry for it. I and I, I remember the first, my first play ever, I remember sitting there at quarterback going to the old, sort of the old scoreboard on about 35 yard line, it's 49 sweep to Travis Ezard. And we pitch out there to him and nobody blocks a soul. Everybody runs down there and escorts him to the end zone. And we tackle him in the end zone, you know, first play ever of our life. And, uh, you know, I still remember that. Remember where I was at? Remember taking the snap and thinking, I can't believe I'm getting to do this. And so I was very fortunate to, to get to play with a bunch of great guys. Like they had a lot of sports. I mean, I played four different sports. And, yeah. But, you know, specifically to football. Um, so he, he coached me all the way through. But uh, really the first time football-wise was as a sophomore in, in high school. So, yeah. Um, did, now, did you start? Were you a starter? I, I did. A I yeah. did. I played wide receiver. Okay. Um, you know, I went on and eventually played quarterback as a junior senior, but had a, a good quarterback. Todd Frazier did a great job. And, and uh, so I ended up playing wide receiver that year. A great year. Had a blast. We had a really good team. Um, yeah. We're a number one ranked team in the state for a long time. Ended up getting beat in the playoffs. And, and uh, you there know, in a, in a mud, in a complete muddy field, mud we field. Or, <laughs> you know, we had a great opportunity to win the state championship that year. And, yeah. And, uh, but I think that, kept us hungry. You know, I hated to, that we didn't win for those, those, those senior guys, a great bunch of guys we got to play with. So um, yeah, I can still remember my first, you know, I, it, the things I'm saying right now are all things that anybody's played for the Lakers. That's the neat thing about it. It's a very, uh, it's a very good brotherhood, I guess you would say. You know, yeah. we all have something in common from guys, you know, from 75, even before that, to all the way till now. It's a, it's a very unique situation. Part of it is we've there's been the same people here, you know, and, and all our coaches, we've discussed this in some of our previous shows, most of our coaches who have been here a long time or played here. Um, so there's a real unique, uh, you know, it's, it's unique here. Yeah. It, it really is. And so it makes you feel, feel good to be a part of that. And so, um, you know, I, I remember my first time as a sophomore warming up in the in the end zone for the first, you know, the first home game I ever got to play in. And Same field game. as now, right? Same field as now. I remember what song was playing on the pregame, you know, the, the whole thing. So, you know, those kind of things are, are carved into your memory just because it's such a, it's such a neat deal. Yeah, that's one of the special things, though. When you have a legacy like this, you know, 50 years since you came in and took over the program, you grew up in the program. It's the same football field over there. It's got your name on it now. Same football field over there now. And, I mean, I remember we were talking one day and you said, in the locker room. You said, I remember when that got yeah. stuck up in the right. ceiling, we were celebrating the state championship yeah. or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but you've been around for those 50 years, and those memories are still there out on yeah. the field yeah. and fresh. And, and same thing for you, though. I bet if you go over to Bob Shore Stadium, you, some old memories pop into mind of things you did right there. Oh, my, Yes. That's one of the things you bring that up. We built the new high school. And someone had asked me here several years later, did you want a new football stadium like Waynesville and Ozark and Nixa and Republic and Web City and on and on did? Right. And I said, well, hell yes, I did. I, I'm the football coach. Why wouldn't I want one? Am I supposed to not want a new stadium? But it was a no, huh? no way, we're gonna build a new stadium. So I, you do what you often do. You take a negative and turn it into a positive. Right. And I remember the time when Notre Dame was going to build a new stadium out of town, and all the fans of Notre Dame said, "No, huh? We want it right here where Newt Rockney coached, and yeah. you know, and and the Four Horsemen uh, ran, and the Gipper, right. and uh, we we want this hollowed ground." And so that's what I told our guys. I said, "You know, we're going to stay here. We're going to stay here where all the ghosts are, where all the tradition is." And that's what we want to do. Oh, that's great. Yeah. It's the jaws of death. That, that is, is man. So, so you do that, but, but, but yeah, I'm not going to fool anybody if they just wanted to build a new stadium yeah. like Clyce has got up there or something. Yeah, I'd have probably said yes, wouldn't yeah, I? Absolutely. Well, I'd hope. It's amazing. Okay, so this is the Shore Family Football Legacy. This is just show number two. We got many shows to, to come, so uh, you'll have to watch for those shows in the future. It's Jeff and Bob Shore. It is the Shore Family Football Legacy. Legacy. Thank you so much for joining us here on Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show.